The Mercedes-Benz GLC was first launched in 2015 when Mercedes replaced the GLK class with the new C-Class Compact Luxury Crossover. But the changes are bigger than the name. So, let's get to know the evolution of the Mercedes-Benz Series GLC. The new SUV approaches a completely new design and abandons angular lines in favor of fluid style. In the front, the full LED headlights, which are optional, are separated by a fairly imposing and well-defined radiator grille. While the rear borrows a bit from its older brother, the GLE, and comes with LED taillights. However, despite the more compact appearance, the GLC is a little longer, wider, and higher, thus offering more space inside, where we now find a much more premium atmosphere. On board, the driver has at his disposal a command online infotainment system installed on a color screen mounted on the central console, but also a touchpad that recognizes letters and numbers drawn with the finger on it, or certain predefined gestures to control certain functions. Under the hood, the Mercedes-Benz GLC is available in six engines, including three diesel, two gasoline, and one plug-in hybrid. The diesel variants include the GLC 220D with an engine that develops 170 horsepower, the GLC 250D which offers 204 horsepower, and the GLC 350D which develops 258 horsepower. Gasoline engines include the GLC 250 version with 211 horsepower and the GLC 300 with 245 horsepower. At the same time, the plug-in hybrid version, GLC 350E, combines a 211 horsepower petrol engine with a 116 HP electric motor, the maximum range in a 100% electric mode being 34 kilometers. At the same time, for this generation, Mercedes also offers a GLC Coupe with an inclined rear roof design. In 2019, Mercedes launched the new face of the GLC. It is about the facelift version that came with both design and technical improvements. The main differences can be seen first of all on the outside, especially in the front where the front fascia is larger and has a new design, and the LED headlights have a new shape. At the back, the differences compared to the first generation are not extreme, the taillights being the ones with the new look. Seen from the side, the car has a much more aggressive appearance due to the much more obvious lines this time. Inside, the GLC facelift includes an optional 12.3-inch dashboard and steering wheel with touch controls, and the most important change is the integration of the MBUX system, which debuted for the first time on the new generation A-Class. As I said, the engines have also received changes. Mercedes keeps the same number of engines, only it changes the cylinder capacities and offers a surplus of power. Of course, Mercedes also made available the coupe version. In 2022, we received the second generation of the Mercedes GLC. The new model brings a new design with subtle changes compared to the previous generation. The body design, however, has a more dynamic aspect. It is larger and borrows the design language of the C-Class. The front is defined by a larger grille, LED headlights with a sharper design, and air intakes that offer a more dynamic look. The same look can be found at the rear, where the taillights are joined by a strip and the rear bumper is sculpted to give the sportiness that an SUV proves. The most obvious changes are in the interior, where the traditional instrumentation is placed by a 12.3-inch digital screen and in the central part, we have an 11.9-inch screen for the multimedia system. Also available is the option of a color head-up display. The finishes offer a premium look with Napa leather finishes in two colors and wooden or aluminum elements. The new Mercedes-Benz GLC offers a wide range of new petrol, diesel, and electric engines. Even if it's a short evolution of the GLC series, where is Mercedes-Benz heading with this series? 